I think that it's important to talk about uh, lactation and tissue medication because we know from literature data that patients with epilepsy have in general a low rate of breastfeeding. In fact, only 42% of women with epilepsy breastfeed at three months. And in general, women with epilepsy uh, discontinue breastfeeding more often than women without uh, um, epilepsy. But we know also from literature data that the benefit for breastfeeding for both mother and child are for regarding the health uh, is about also in um, the acute and for long-term outcome. It reduces in fact the risk for metabolic diseases, for example diabetes type 2, uh, and also it reduces the risk for breast and ovarian cancer in uh, mother. So it's really important to encourage breastfeeding in women with epilepsy for these important benefits. So the most important reason because women with epilepsy discontinue breastfeeding is the fear that drugs taken by the mother could uh, transfer via breast milk to the child and could cause acute and long-term adverse events. But the possible effect that any drugs could cause in the breastfed uh, infant is really uh, difficult to estimate because it depends on several factors uh, that are, for example, factors related to the mother, for example, type of drugs, uh, also uh, dosage of drugs, maternal serum concentration. It also depending on type of the drugs. For example, we know that drugs differ for protein binding, for fat solubility, and finally also depend on child-related factors. So we know also that it depends on the age of the child, for example, is uh, higher for premature or a um, child with an age that is more than, uh, less than two, three months. So uh, we have so several factors, independent factors that uh, work together to determine the possible effect of the, uh, the drugs on the child. So it's really hard to uh, suggest not breastfeeding uh, in our patients when we have that the possibility of any effect is really low. The possible effect that any drugs could cause in the infant uh, is, uh, as I said before, acute and long term. About acute, for example, it is uh, uh, sedation is the most important acute adverse effect of different anti medication. But other um, acute uh, effect could differ from different anti medications. So, for example, lamotrigine could cause also rash and so on. And about the long term adverse events, uh, it is in particular the cognitive outcome. So we have to take into account also this data. And there are several factors that were conducted to examine the possible effect of the drugs in acute and long term events. And what we know in really in summary is that uh, um, the uh, outcome at uh, six years of the infant that uh, um, exposed during breastfeeding to anti medication was uh, um, were depending on uh, type of drugs. For example, it was worse with valproate and also the uh, number of uh, drugs, for example, it was worse with the polytherapy and the dosage. So what is important is to um, assess the possible yeah, acute, so the possible sedation, tremor, or changing in the clinical in the baby, and also to assess, if possible, uh, the long-term cognitive outcome in our patients.